Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your magical moon message for the moon in Virgo. Virgo, my bad, Virgo. And the sun in Taurus. This is all about money. This is perhaps the most stereotypical definition of earth sign placement that no i can go way more stereotypical but this is stereotypical enough and i'm gonna end the magic moon message right here your capacity for manifesting money is gonna increase and as jupiter comes into aries it's gonna open up brand new opportunities to make also more money it's gonna be surprising you're not gonna see it coming and prepare to be rich peace and if I was a real one, I would end it right here. But let me elaborate, because I know all the Virgos are like, elaborate, elaborate, elaborate. First of all, y'all need to stop asking Geminis to elaborate. Y'all know damn well we have no idea what you mean by that. When a Gemini tells you something as vague as it is, as sometimes as vague as hell, then we have nothing to elaborate on. Like, we, we told you what it is. So you talk about elaborate. And like people who don't have Virgo like me, we don't specific, we don't break things down specifically. Like we just give you the surface level, whatever. Then you talk about elaborate. And I'm like, what? I told you already. Like, what do you want me to elaborate? So I'm just saying that drives me crazy. I'll be talking to Virgos. I'll be talking to Virgos and I'll say something and they're like, okay, but like how? And I'm like, I fucking told you already. Like, and like they want relevant details to the moment. And I don't know how to tell them I don't have Virgo. Like I don't. I don't even live here. I'm not even here. Like, I'm, you just see my physical body. But anyway, welcome to Moon in Virgo, fifth house to the sun in Taurus. Could open up some real romance to ya. If you're in a real social dynamics RSD, you can, you can get you a real B, A, E. It may require actual social skills. So if you're like me, Good luck. But other than that, if you're not and you actually have social skills, congratulations. I look like I have social skills because you see me online and y'all think Gemini is Libra. Y'all be thinking Gemini is social. So you see me talk my shit and then when you see me in person, I'm just like, and you don't understand it's my Taurus rising. So it is, I'll just be low key. But other than that, my friends, you are understanding the real change in behavior, Virgo Moon and the analysis of the value you're manifesting. Because this is coinciding with Jupiter coming into Aries, this is bursting forth a brand new evolution cycle during a very creative, a practically creative transit that will actually even open up elements of practical wizardry. Real practical techniques and insights to manifest this innovation of your ability to manifest and like I said in the beginning of the reading, relative to the context of how you apply it to what you do for work or what you do to organize your behavior and your lifestyle will honestly plug you into so much more cash, so much more liquidity. And the whole purpose of this Uranus Taurus transit, if you're not aware, is to slowly, because Taurus is a slow zodiac sign, thank God, is to slowly but surely manifest independence hence the square to Saturn in Aquarius from collective systematic protocol. Right now, you may still be dependent on the system to make a living. The system provides infrastructure with which, and it's not necessarily bad as much as, it's not a good or bad thing, right? But the system provides infrastructure within an economy with which to raise a nation's GDP. Let me translate that. The state authorities with which you live in use you as slaves so that you can make them richer. And now you depend on their economic system to trade and barter your time. Many of you are realizing hacks to this, hacks to this system in order to make yourself independent from said system, from economy, from infrastructure. It is starting to come into form on a transit like this. You're starting to create the means and avenues through which you don't need a job to make money. You don't need infrastructure to come into resources. You don't need state or government funded resources to actually live. This is so very important because you see 
I think if not, and I forgot what country it is, if not Canada or Australia, where they're kind of making it illegal to buy farmland or to come into more independence. This, this is where the war is, ownership, okay? Uranus and Aries with the Pluto square made the war against identity. And so you had a lot of identity politics. The square was Aries masculine. You saw the masculine in men and women get thoroughly demonized with this transhumanistic agenda to make you forget who you are. Now Uranus is in Taurus and the battle is ownership. What about you can you own? What about you can you control on your body? Okay. And if you want to give in to those collective narratives that are hidden by lies behind Neptune of the fog and cloak, Neptune and Pisces is divine, but the way it's being used is to deceive. If you want to give your power away to these structures, it's all your decision. Like, it's it's not even a good or bad thing. It's all your decision. I'm not trying to say it's good or bad. I'm saying objectively speaking, you have the opportunity to create structures that slowly but surely manifest the sense of autonomy and independence from systems and infrastructure that keep you in a hamster wheel. We're growing out of the old world, okay? The moon opposite Neptune is also making you receptive to how the dreams you have are being made real. This happens once a month, but opposite Neptune helps you analyze the nature of the illusions or dreams to straighten and align with actual practicality or reality. And this is important because you're getting ready to change your perception in route to the new moon on how to in, on how to integrate how Virgo to integrate this sense of value before we step into the moon in Scorpio and complete and harvest this, which is cool because Virgo is also a zodiac sign of harvest. So you're definitely in a position to very magically understand the real dynamics of what needs to change and how to change it so that you can manifest more value, more money, more influence, and more strength, okay? So relative to the breakthrough of the, of the seeds growing through the ground that have pushed us forward in this whole sense to, you know, more realistically than ever own up to and tap into, this is going to very powerfully open up this sense of, you know, more than ever, the ability for you to now, based on this Taurus foundation, add so much more, once again, to your worth, to your value, to your wealth, and to your confidence. So you're going to see a lot of things start to really change relative to this moon in Virgo. And this real change that's facilitated puts you once again in a position to very, 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 very powerfully, you know, align with this sense of your value, everything that you're putting into place in order to actually jumpstart this new adventure, you're in its full card of independence, of sovereignty, of wealth. And so be very mindful of how you allocate the funds. Some of you may come into a lot of money unexpectedly. Think long term. Don't splurge it short term. Okay. Other than that, you definitely uh, want to take stock for how far you've come. And in the integration of this new value, once again, the moon in Virgo is going to show you practically how to really allocate all of this. And, and things are going to get really real for you, especially in the integration of how you align these new blossoming of abilities into your behavior and lifestyle as well. Okay. So I hope you enjoy how you do it. Great. I hope you enjoy this transit. And I hope you're in a position to more realistically than ever open up so much more possibility. The moon in Virgo will show you what's really possible and how to change your real environment and, and augment your lifestyle to anchor more of this value. And you also definitely want to take into account with... You know, Jupiter, Mars is leaving Pisces, but with Jupiter coming into Aries, we're officially starting the brand new Jupiter cycle. So open your mind up to newness 
take advantage of any new opportunities. You don't have to have all the details. Just take action and experiment with what occurs. Anyway, y'all stay blessed. Godspeed and peace.